Now we're talking. All right, there it is. No leaks at all. Working perfect. Hey there, just a quick vid to show you one of these five gallon bucket showers, my take on it. You can see it's a little different. I've got the compression coupler at the bottom. I've got a red shut off valve in the middle. And then of course the shower at the top. I got the shut off switch in there. I got the coupler at the bottom. Those are so that the whole thing will break down and all the pieces fit inside that bucket. You can snap the lid on, you're good to go. There's even plenty of room left over for a towel, soap, shampoo, and if you want, even one of those pocket hoses that rolls up. It'll all fit in that bucket and weighs almost nothing. That's the entire shower put together, including a towel, soap, shampoo, and everything. Good to go. I've seen a couple of these. Some people hang these buckets in the air poke some holes in the bottom of them. That seems pretty dangerous though. If that falls on you or a kid, it's going to be pretty bad. So I didn't want to do it that way. And I've seen some ground mount systems that the post is so tall that it's real wobbly and very unstable. The reason I made it that height is so you could use it for kids if you put the bucket on the ground and just up on the edge of a picnic table or any kind of standard side table, those sit about two feet high. So then the total height would be just over six feet or perfect for an adult. So easy for adults to use and the kids if you just put it on the ground. One other thing about this, I designed it so that you can use it with a municipal water supply like this with a hose or you can just fill the bucket with about five gallons of water, put a small pump in the bottom and hook that to the hose inlet. And that'll run for about five to eight minutes like that. If you turn it down you can get more like ten minutes but that's on full blast. That's why I did like the zip tying just at the top and why I designed the whole thing the way I did. All right, here it is. Then just pipe cement it all together, and this should fit right in there. Grab it and jam it on. Alright, now this one. Okay, now I'm just going to do here and here, and the shower head part. Okay, so it's had time to dry. Should look about like this. Now you just drop it in. Alright, now I'm just going to go ahead and zip tie these two, this one, and we'll add the post. This thing's really in there now, it's not going anywhere. Perfect. Alright, now I'm going to drill the holes in the cap for the shower head. I'm thinking for the shower head, probably 1 16th inch holes, maybe a dozen of them in the top. Like that. Now we gotta do is hook this up. And 
and this one. That's it. There's your shower. Alright, here it is, guys. It's working perfect. You can see it's running smooth. It's been running for a long time. There's no leaks on it at all. It's perfect. Once you get everything tightened up, it's good to go. And again, the way I designed it, you can break the whole thing down and all those pieces fit into the bucket so it's completely portable. Matter of fact, there's plenty of room in the bucket even with all that to add a towel, soap, shampoo, and even a roll-up pocket hose or that style hose if you want. If you want to save a little money on it, you can go with just a straight piece of PVC all the way up and skip the valve and the compression coupler, but then it's kind of awkward to move around. This way, those can be disconnected in seconds. Everything goes into the bucket. Everything fits easy. And it's super light. Good to go. Again, for the adults, just put it on the table. That's about six feet. Works great. And off.